Hey, Warhawks fans, Aaron Buttonoff, play-by-play -play play voice for the Wilmer Warhawks, who has his voice back after that exciting game Saturday night. But, Coach, first off, the two games were two games, won one, lost one, but you played really good hockey in both. Yeah, both the really good, uh, really good games against great competition. So no surprise there that they were both really, really tight battles. Uh, North Iowa is an exceptional team. Um, they got us two to one on uh, on Friday night. It was a tough one. We were right there. You know, our goaltender played played great. Uh, Lucas Haugen um, had a tough turnover to start the game, first minute of the game. So we got behind the eight ball early, uh, but we battled and staying in it, and uh, you know, ended up tying it up at one. And then they got one off kind of a weird little play and a tough bounce in front of the net that that goes in and then we just couldn't score so you know you typically have to score more than one goal to, to win you know not always and with the goaltending we have it would definitely be possible that we could get away with a, a one uh, one goal win here and there but but you know we just had to bury our chances we didn't do it they they buried two we buried one but tip of the cap to them they're a great team and we're going to keep trying to, to chip away speaking of scoring one goal that's what we thought we were going to be stuck on on Saturday night against Granite City and then Different story in the third. The guys finally found a chance to bury him and actually did bury pucks, starting with Caleb Miller early on and then right at the end, the power, the three power play goals in a row to not only tie it but then win it. That was a whole lot of fun in the last five minutes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That Miller goal, though, first minute in, got us going in the right direction. That was just good hard work by Lewis Rowan, um, chasing down loose pucks, just, just hounding loose pucks relentlessly. Um, won a puck. Gets it out front to Bridger to cry, who had a good one-time shot that just missed the top corner, went off the glass. Then uh, we retrieved another loose puck, kicked it back out front, and Miller put it home. So that was exciting. Got us, uh, you know, going on the right track early, which was huge when you're down by three going into the third to get one early in the first minute. Gives you a lot of life. Um, but then it took a while to get that next one. Uh, power play, though, fortunately came through. We drew some penalties with our hard work, and, uh, and you know, it was pretty one-sided in the penalty column early. It was 6-1 to one in their favor. Um, until the third period and then things turned around and uh, and we got some calls um, and yeah we took advantage and buried on the power play uh, so three power play goals in, our, in a row there in the last four minutes of the game to to win 5-4 it was uh, it was pretty exciting and yeah you were you were yelling pretty good uh, the crowd was going pretty good it was it was pretty electric in here for uh, for you know not being able to be a sellout crowd we, we sold out what we could sell out I believe and, and yeah, it was a lot of fun when you look at it though that especially that Saturday game with as tough as it was, and then Granite City taking advantage of their chances and burying pucks down four to one, you have to give credit to the guys to keep skating and keep going. Because a lot of teams, I don't care what level or how good you are, a lot of teams could have been. It's just not our night. Things aren't going our way, and could have folded it in a little bit. They didn't. Yeah, no, you know, I, I haven't seen this team really fold fold the tents uh, yet. Hopefully, we don't see it. You know, we go in and try to give them a little. Good motivational speech in between periods uh but a lot of positivity a lot of energy and you know we just stayed the course like we we played, played pretty well actually the first two periods we just you know we couldn't score and they popped four on us and some different uh different chances where they were pretty opportunistic and and yeah again tip of the cap to them they're a great team and if you give them chances they'll, they'll score on you and we'll be in trouble um so we got to tighten some things up as a team defensively but uh but yeah no no quit in these guys we've come back before in different games um, you know we came back at North Iowa to get that win in overtime we came back early in the year at Alexandria to get that win in overtime we came back against New Ulm at New Ulm to get that win in overtime um, some third period comeback so it's it's not uh, the first time we've done it and, and yeah the boys just don't quit you know a lot of it I think comes out in practice when we're playing these these small area games and drills and trying to get them to, to play right to the end to play through the whistle um, but yeah you know we got a good team and uh, and yeah, they keep working hard, and it's a lot of fun when, when that hard work pays off and have a big comeback win like that. It's it's about as fun as it gets. It's a very busy two weeks. You got a game tomorrow night at Granite City, which you got to be ready for because you know they're going to come at you right away. Then Friday at Alexandria. Sunday you got a game uh, against Granite City again here, and then you go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So how much you you got a lot of depth. So how much are you looking at? Okay, trying to maybe match up. When you gonna play guys? How guys are doing? When to rest them? Especially not just your skaters. You got three really good goaltenders. You could probably rotate in there too. Yeah, you know, like I've said before, I have supreme confidence in all of the guys that we have here on our roster, um, and so you know they could all play and all do a good job. What we're gonna do is gonna depend on a day by day thing. We're gonna 
going to evaluate after every game. I mean, even after every every shift, every period, it's always the evaluations going on, and, and guys are moving up and down or, or here or there uh, in the lineup. So it could be it could be a lot of different things, a lot of combinations. I'd be lying if I said I had uh, I knew what was going to happen. Um, goaltenders, we'll see. Um, forwards, defensemen, we'll see. A lot depends on injuries. You never know what's going to happen there. Obviously, you know, Michael, Mike Sweetland's been been out and will be out for the foreseeable future. Hopefully, get him back for playoffs. We got some other guys that are banged up a little bit. Um, so, you know, if we need to rest them, we we will. You know, we got to keep our guys safe and uh, and ready to go for this playoff stretch. The playoff run is, is key. So, um, you know, we're in a good spot right now. What are we tied for second with Granite City? Um, we obviously like to get up to that, that first spot, and all we can do is just try to win our games and wait and see what happens. We, Got some help on that front with Alexandria getting a big win at North Iowa the other day. If uh, you know, realistically, we want to catch them, things like that are going to have to happen. But we can only control what we can control. So we'll try to win our games with whatever guys are healthy and available. Games are on the road tomorrow night and on Friday night. But then Sunday night, it's a home game. Tickets are available online at our website, WilmerWarhawks.com. Also, I think they'll start getting ready to go on sale for those games in March as well because it's a four game weekend that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday three of those Friday, Saturday, Sunday are all at home so there's plenty of chances still to catch Warhawks hockey. It's the hottest ticket in town and a good reason they're playing really well right now.